And the winner of the Film and Television Impact Award is The Chosen. Yes, you. Uh, they play James and John. They're trying to get on my right and left hand. They're always. <laughs> so just last week on set, because we're actually filming season four right now. Yeah. Just last week, we actually celebrated the halfway point of The Chosen. Three and a half seasons so far we've filmed. We have three and a half seasons left. And the only thing that's going to get us through it, and the only thing that's going to allow us to have the endurance to do this is because I've had to really get good at two things. One is listening, because listening to God when you're trying to portray his son accurately to the world is extraordinarily important. But two is to surround myself with people who are smarter and better than I am at their jobs. That starts, of course, with their cast and crew. These guys here are extraordinary. The cast and crew and the production team elevate the show and, and make it so much better than I could ever do. But of course, most importantly, my wife who is here, she is not holding my gum, but she is here. <laughs> I'm smart, Brandon. Uh, but my wife uh, is, you know, there's that, st that, that old saying, you know, behind every successful man is a, is a greater woman. And I just, no, it's in front of me is a much better woman pulling me along. And uh, I couldn't do it without her, of course. Yeah. So I want to say something really quick. When I was growing up, uh, and I wanted to appreciate faith-based media and arts, and there was so little to choose from, uh, it was so rare. Something like this did not exist. Something this big and this impactful, uh, a show like this. And, and tonight, this is such an amazing show and such an amazing opportunity because I'm looking around. Like, we won an award, a, a TV show, won an award in a category with six other nominees. Six. And they're good. And I enjoyed them. When... Yes. When I was growing up, there weren't five faith-based movies that were watchable, uh, much less that were good. And so this is really exciting. And, I'm, and, and, and the, to think that we're uh, on a, this award show is on television, and we're celebrating film, and there's podcasts and books and music and uh, so many cat different categories of, of people who aren't afraid to talk about Jesus. It's, it's truly extraordinary. Psalms 34, 5, my favorite verse, it says, those who look to him are blameless and their faces shall never be ashamed. And there are people out there watching right now who, like me, a long time ago were young and they're watching right now and they're thinking that maybe someday they can do something like this and maybe someday they can be part of this and be telling stories that are unashamed to be about Jesus in a world that desperately needs it. And I'm telling you, I hope that someday, 25 years from now, whether I'm still telling Bible stories or not, that I get a chance to watch this and watch people who are even better. So thank you for doing what you do here in these first four rows. Thank you for making this happen. We love you. God bless.